Well, next year is, is here, uh, finally, uh, and we're excited for it. Um, as, as we get ready to tip off next Friday at, at Northern Colorado and, and make our Northern Colorado Kansas road trip, um, we still have a lot of work in, in front of us, but uh, up to date we have, uh, today I think will be our 23rd practice. Um, and if anybody's not familiar with the, the new NCAA rule change that involves women's basketball start time, we've been practicing since October 3rd. Um, there's been a rule change that you can go prior, 40 days prior to your first contest, you can start practice. And within that 40 days, you get 30 practices. So we've, uh, you know, there's 10 days off in there. And so we've been going for a while and our kids are ready to play. And I know some of them are in the back there and you'll get a chance to talk to them, but we, we are excited for that. Um, as you look at our schedule, uh, I've been told I got six to eight minutes, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep this quick. My type of press conference, by the way. Um, if you look at our schedule and, and what our team's gonna face this year, um, it, it's, it's a combination of some, some really neat challenges, some really neat opportunities, and again, by being in the Great West, an opportunity to play for a, a Great West championship. Um, and if you saw the, uh, our website yesterday, you know, the Coyotes are picked fourth. And in talking to our team, that's okay. That's okay. Because not many people know uh, about the newness to our basketball team. And I know that's why you all are sitting here today as well, is to figure out what, what is this new Coyote team going to look like? Um, I think the biggest difference that you folks will see this year on the basketball court is we've, we've got three really good post players. You know, the inside play has been uh, something that's, that just lacked. It lacked last year. We just didn't have that inside presence. Um, we'll have the addition of Jody Boss, who sat out last year as a redshirt. She's a 6'4 post player. Uh, Stacia Robertson, a 6'2 freshman from Grand Island. Very, very skilled offensive player. And I think as she grows um, into our defensive system and just grows into our system, she's going to be a very, very talented player as well. And last year we also redshirted uh, Michaela Knutson from South Sioux City. So we've got three legit big kids that we can kind of play through that we are excited about. Um, at the point guard spot, yeah, some more newness, uh, Alexis Yackley, is, uh, the transfer from Iowa State, who had the red shirt last year that nobody in the league really knows about. And, you know, Lex is a, a really unique player in the fact that there's a lot of point guards out there that are kind of past first point guards. Uh, that, that run your team, and she she is definitely that. She can do a good job of quarterbacking our team, but Lex is very unique in that she can really score the basketball. So we look forward to, you know, some uh, increased scoring from from our guard play, and, and Lex will definitely bring that. And I don't think there's a more competitive kid that, that we have uh, than Alexis. So a welcome addition there. Um, you know, talking about some other uh, other kids that you'll see on the floor, uh, Kate Edwards and Tempest Wilson. Two kids that are really battling out right now in practice for that starting three spot. Kate Edwards is a freshman from Crete, Nebraska, and she was the young lady that, that's coming off back surgery. And we thought, yeah, we, we're gonna have to redshirt her, are we not? We don't have to redshirt Caitlin Edwards. She is just fine, very, very healthy, playing very, very hard, and she's vying for a starting role uh, with Tempest. Tempest is the junior college player. Um, she's from Elkhorn, Minnesota. Uh, she brings a, a different dynamic to our team in that she's extremely athletic. And she's a 5'9", 5 5'10", 5 uh, very powerful, uh, athletic, big guard. They can score uh, in a variety of different ways. And I think the new look Coyotes this year will be just, it, it's a team that we always pride ourselves on playing well defensively. This team does, uh, that's I think where we always are gonna hang our hats. Uh, but we are gonna be able to score the ball uh, much better this year and, and the kids that I just mentioned of course will will add to that the oldies coming back I like to call them oldies you know Amber Hagee you know Annie Roach Teresa Case you know those kids that have been in our program for a while now Jackie Hebert uh, Pam January um, you know we've got we've got 12 really good players on our roster that will allow us to you know, play with some depth and so it'll allow us to to play a little faster. It'll allow us to, to do some things different defensively as far as extending uh, in the full court, and, and we look forward to that. But those oldies are looking good as well, guys. You know, Amber Hagee is, is Amber Hagee. And I think the neat thing that, uh, that we look forward to as a coaching staff, you know, last year it was really five people geared towards stopping Amber Hagee. Now this year she's got some kids around her that I think can, 
uh, she'll be able to play a little more comfortable, play a little more free, and I think sh she'll have a big year. Uh, Annie Roach uh, will more than likely start at our off-guard spot, and she continues to, to keep getting better, shoots the ball really, really well, and nobody works harder uh, than, than Annie Roach. So um, that's a little bit about our team. Um, we're excited again to get going, and I'm going to open it up, I guess, for questions. We want to keep this fairly short and, and entertain any particular questions that, that you folks might have. Well, that we open up here at home on the 17th of November, and that would be against Jamestown. I believe that's a Wednesday night. But we do open up, like I said, November 12th at Northern Colorado, and then we turn around on that same road trip, then we fly into to Kansas, and we get to play in Allen Fieldhouse. And I know our kids are really excited about that. Uh, our kids had the opportunity a couple years to play in the Dean Dome. Uh, that was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and now we get to go, you know, Try to try to compete against the Jayhawks and uh, Allen Fieldhouse and James Naismith, James Naismith basketball court. And those that aren't basketball fans, he he did invent the game, and uh, he was a coach there. So that there's a lot of history there, and so we are excited about that. Any other questions? Coach, uh, with the depth you talked about, what kind of different things will allow you to do? maybe you didn't play more kids, not get as tired. <laughs> Uh, you know, we can extend, like I said, we can run multiple defenses. You know, we've, we've been pressing in practice. We've been able to play faster in a transition style. We've been able to pressure the ball more in practice just in our half court. You know, our kids don't have to pace themselves. And I think the, the team is really developing a, a trust. You know, I think our posts know if I sprint to the rim every single time in transition, I'm going to get tired. But you know what? Here comes Jody Boss right behind me, you know, when I get tired. We, we're going to have some some fresh legs out there most of the time. And in addition to our, our, our question on the schedule, I, I do want to point out a couple home games. You know, finally, finally we've got some really, uh, I think, legit Division I teams coming to the Dome. You know, we've spent our last two years on the road playing at, at these various places. Well, this year we've got the likes of a Wichita State, Creighton, uh, Santa Clara, Cal State Northridge coming to the Dome. And uh, we're excited for you guys as well as as our team, and so we'll get an opportunity to, to get after and get some nice Division One wins um, here on our home court in the, in the Dakota Dome. Any other questions for Coach? Uh, last year you mentioned uh, how some of the transfers played a couple games. You worked in and wouldn't be right away. Give that again this year with Yakley, Jody Boss, Michaela Knusman. Uh, how, how many games sort of expect them to get back in the flow? I mean, to have that year off. Yeah, that's a great question. When kids have a redshirt year, they've, they've sat out for a year uh, for whatever situation. It does take some time. And I think you can only get so much better in practice. You need to be tested in games. And that's what this team does need now. We've practiced enough, you guys. We have enough practice. And now we need to tip it off against somebody and be tested and, and get exposed. You know, we, we will have to grow. I think our season uh, is, is just that. Um, how fast we grow record-wise or how good we get, how fast, is all going to depend on the growth of, of those, the transfer kids, uh, the growth of our freshmen that are going to play, and they will play, but they just don't step in game one and, and knock your socks off. There has, to be a, there has to be a growing period there. And so that's, that is a great question. And how much time? I don't know. You, know, you just you just don't know. But that's why we, we need to play these games. These kids need games right now. 